guys, welcome back to another episode of Super Wish Your Magic. How are you guys doing today? If this is your first time watching, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and stay for a while. If you are already subscribed and you have watched me before, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm coming on with a quick video, y'all, um, just to talk about being encouraged, um, um, being uplifting and changing a negative into a positive. Um, so before I do that, I'm in my office working, y'all. Um, let me know what you are sipping on. I got my wonderful vodka over here with me that keeps me company while I'm working. <laughs> Always. But y'all know, seriously, I just wanted to come on and just kind of give you a little bit of like what's been going on with me or whatever the case may be. Um, so... Going into 2024, I had told myself that I was going to back up on a lot of things, like um, just back up on a lot of things, what, whatever it may be, because I need to focus on me and what I needed to do as far as taking care of me and my household and what the goals are that I have set for myself going forward. So with that said, um, I've been working on being debt free, just paying off debt pay my truck off, um, just get rid of extra stuff that's not necessary, um, and then just start saving to make sure that I have an emergency fund. So for the past couple of weeks, it's just like, I'm this close to paying my truck off. I'm this close to paying my truck off. And then it's just been one thing after another, one thing after another. Um, my laptop, so my printer stopped working for some reason. I don't know. It has ink in there. I couldn't figure it out. And the people were telling me to bring it into them. And so I didn't want to carry it and it has ink in there. I don't want it to like go everywhere or, you know, um, spill in the car or whatever the case may be. So then somebody said, well, put it in a plastic bag. Well, I didn't want to do that either. Um, and then I was, one guy was supposed to come look at it for me and then he didn't come and all that other stuff. So anyway, long story short, I was like, I don't want to get another computer, but I want to see what's going on with that one. So with my t-shirt and crafting business, I had to come up with something. So I ordered another computer, which is a HP. Um, I did an unboxing for that. And so um, I got that, you know, set up and all that stuff. And then my laptop was acting up. So like I was on a Zoom with my uh, with my bedroom candy business and the, the thing, it either reset or redid something, but it just cut out. So I'm like, oh my God. So then I got back on there and it, it was okay. And then me and Yaya, we were on our live stream that we do every other Friday. And so uh, while we were on the live stream, I told Yaya, I said, I got my backup phone just in case this laptop do some stuff. And so it, it kicked me out. Like I was li literally in the middle of it and it just like kicked me out and it like reboot itself. And so um, I did it twice. So I logged out, you know, I got back in, tried to do it again. It did it twice. So I just finished our live on my cell phone or whatever. Um, and I don't like doing that because I can't see people's comments. Like I can either you know, watch the chat or see the comments or whatever the case may be. So anyway, it's just confusing. Um, not confusing. It's a headache when you're trying to do that. I like having my laptop so I can see everything. So anyway, I'm like, okay, let's figure this out. So one of my customers, his brother works with computers. He teach people um, beginners classes on computers and all this other stuff. So he got us, ooh, he got us connected. And so um, his brother came over and he was doing, you know, the stuff, getting in my laptop, doing this, doing that. And he said, I think you're good to go. I think you're good to go. And so I said, well, my printer's not working. He said, I think it's like your laptop need to tune up. So he goes through and puts everything in there. And then my printer started working. I'm like, yay. And so I'm like, well, that works. So I'm going to do sublimation. So for the, the HP printer that I got, I didn't wind up um, putting, I still got the ink in the packages. I didn't wind up putting the ink in there because I'm going to change that one into a sublimation printer. And then my other one is just a regular printer and you can't mix the two inks um, together. So um, that actually worked out really good because I, I want to start sublimating. And so then I was really happy about that and stuff. And then the next day I was on a Zoom call and my laptop went out again. And I'm like, what is the deal? And so um, he was saying, was well, probably doing the automatic re, re um, what is it? Automatic updates or something. So whenever it kicks off like that, it's updating it and then it'll kick it back on. 
So I was like, okay, don't get frustrated. This man is really being patient with me, you know, because I don't know a lot about technology. So he came over the next day and, um, you know, fixed it. Mind you, this guy is a busy man. Like he not only does like the technical stuff for his church, but he does um, beginners, um, beginners um, computer classes, like I said, and mostly for like the seniors so they can learn different things. He has a full-time job. He's a, a husband. He has kids. I mean, this man has a busy life. And so for him to come in, come over and, um, you know, he was actually working around my schedule because I was like, well, I have a Zoom at such and such, but I can use my cell phone, you know, if you want to work on the laptop and everything. So usually I'm in, I'm in here with him and he's asking me questions and stuff like that. So he came over again, was trying to work on it. And then um, he looked it up and said it was my mother's board. So my mother's board on my laptop went out. I'm like, I did not set $500 aside to go get another laptop. So we're going to have to figure this out real quick. So he was like, oh, there's this one place they got them for like $300. Another one got them for like $400. I'm like, that's not where I was trying to go. Like, I want to pay my truck off. Like, <laughs> But I know I need it for my business. So then um, somebody said, Kiba, you should try a pawn shop. And I was like, I didn't think about that. So I text him and I said, hey, what about a pawn shop? He goes, yeah, we could try a pawn shop and I can come and clean it out, make sure ain't no bad stuff up in there, you know, whatever. So um, he sends me a couple pictures, you know, went to a couple pawn shops, which is a blessing. Um, and he sent me a couple pictures of them. And I was like, oh, I like that one. I like that one. And so he said, well, this was only like 209 and it's faster than your laptop anyway. And I said, okay, well, let's just go with that one. So I went, they had a railway thing. So I went and put some money on it just to be like, okay, just hold it for me. I'm gonna come back next week and get it, you know, whatever. So um, it was like, then I was going to go get the laptop and I was driving to work and um, no, I take it back. Was that the same day? No, something else had happened. Something else had happened. And the money that I was going to go get my laptop out, I had to take that money and put it towards taking care of that. So that set me back another four or five days, which is crazy for not being able to do the stuff I need to do with my laptop and stuff. Um, so anyway, um, so I get that done, get it taken care of. And then I was like, I think my insurance is due. And I said, because my insurance do the same time, every, same day, every month, you know. And so when I called, she's like, no, it's actually due such and such. And I was like, thank you, Lord. So I took that money for my insurance and went and got my computer. And so I got my computer, brought it home. David had choir rehearsal that day. I had Zoom calls that day. So he said, well, I'll just come over after, you know, choir rehearsal, whatever. So he came over. He was working on it. He was doing everything. We could not get my internet to kick on to it. It would not do it for nothing. So he felt like this was a work computer, like they had it at a business, and they won't let you put all your personal stuff in there. So he said, uh, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. So he kept trying to figure it out, and it wasn't working. And I'm a person that don't like a lot of wires and cords and stuff. I have a cord over here hanging, and I've been trying to figure out how to cover it up because it's driving me crazy. Um, but uh, I'm going to see if y'all can see it. Oh, y'all see that cord right there? It's over there. That's driving me crazy. I have a I have cords in my bedroom from the outlet all the way up to the TV, but I have a casing over it to hide them. The casing is too big for just that little portion. So I'm trying to figure out either to, I don't know, switch the cords white. I don't know. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I can leave y'all right there. So anyway, um, so he came over and was working on it and all that other stuff, and it wouldn't connect. So he said, uh, oh, he said with the cords, like it's four ports on the back, and then it's three ports on the side. But then it had cords coming this way and down. Then it had cords in the back coming down. I'm like, no, that is bothering my spirit. I was like, I've got to get that. I feel like I moved y'all up. I'm like, it is bothering my spirit. I literally got to get these cords out the way. So he said, I'm going to send you the link to this. Um, it's a like a port, a USB port where you can just put everything in there and then put it on the desk and then you don't have all those cords hanging. So I did that and I'm working on changing up, you know, doing a um, cable wire to just tie them all together in the back. So I had to get that. Um, then he said, you need a Wi-Fi USB port, which is like just this little thing where you put it in and it connects my Wi-Fi. And I'm like, okay, that's more money I hadn't planned on spending. So... Golly, I feel like something's on my lip. Sorry, y'all. 
So I hopped on Amazon, hopped on Amazon, ordered them. It was like $25 for both of them. Ordered them. They came in. So he got out of choir rehearsal late. So instead of him coming over, um, we just did it um, uh, remote where I called him on the phone and then he did like quick assist where he can take over in my laptop and do everything. So he went in there. He got everything. He even set up like all my apps, y'all. Like he did the disc where it took everything out of my laptop and then brought it and put it connected it to my computer so I didn't have to do all that so all my stuff started popping up and what was funny is he was like okay you got to enter your password I'm like I don't know it I don't remember it <laughs> he said you need to get your little black book and put all your passwords and stuff in there so you can have them and I said yeah because all my passwords are so different like some of them require a, a a certain like a star or something like that and um oh my battery's about to go dead oh and then some of them require a um Hold on, y'all. Let me plug this up. I didn't realize my battery was low. And then some of them require like six characters. Some of them require like eight characters and all that stuff, which is a pain in the butt. But, um, hold on, y'all. I'm going to plug this up so my phone don't go dead while I'm recording. Okay, I think that did it. Okay, so anyway, um, I had the plug to charge it, but so anyway, so we did a, the access remote or whatever the case may be, and then he was trying to do everything. Make sure I'm still recording. Yep, I am. Um, he was doing everything through the thing. So he had me all set up, and then I said, "Oh, my camp, my light on my thing hasn't came on yet." I said, "Did we connect the camera?" And he said, "Yeah, your camera should be working." So we goes through it, and we're looking through, and we're doing everything, and he's on there. I mean, for like an hour and he's trying to figure it out. And so then he's even showing me where he goes to like HP and he's asking them like, where's the, the webcam and all this where well, it doesn't set up. And so after about 11 o'clock, he was on there from like nine, he got on there about nine, 10, nine, 15 at night. So about 11, 20, I'm like, I know you are tired. You've had a long day. I appreciate you. He said, I'll tell you what, just go to Amazon. He said, I know you're tired of buying stuff for the computer. He said, but go to Amazon and order you a webcam. And I'm like, okay. He said, then we could connect it. So then um, I goes on the, the Amazon. So I'm sending him all these different things and stuff. Like, is this one good? Is this one good? He said, the ones that's like under $20 um, or like under like $10. He said, don't get them because they're really not good. So I found one and it was like $17, I think, $18. And so he said, yeah, this is the kind that we use um, at my church or whatever. And I said, okay. So I ordered that. And so, um, <laughs> so yeah, I ordered that or whatever. And I was like, okay, what else am I going to have to order? Like, this is another thing. So that was, it's, it's supposed to be here today. So I'm so excited about it. I'll do an unboxing about that. So then, um, it's something else coming with that. Oh yeah. Something else is coming with it. So anyway, I had a event two weeks ago and it was on a Saturday. So that week, that prior week, I was driving my truck and it sounded funny. I don't know if it was like something I was driving over in the road or I'm like, is that my tire or whatever the case may be. I just had to get another tire in February when I got my inspection because it had like the wires coming out in the inside where I couldn't see. So I'm driving and everything. And mind you, I, I work like most people would say 30 minutes, but it take me about 12 12, 13. I felt some crawling. <laughs> it take me about 12, 13. It don't take me that long to get to work. But where I where I work, where I live and where I drive from, like the speed is like 70, 70 miles an hour. So you're going fast. Um, so I was driving and I'm like, what is that noise? And I was like, I don't know what it is. So then the next day, the way I backed up at work, um, I was leaving work and I looked at my tire and I said, thank God. Like, I'm, I'm so grateful to God that I was able to back up and see it. So when I see my tires, like it was like ripple, like rips in the tire, you know, like, I don't know, like slits or something. It's hard to explain. And I was like, what in the world is that? So my coworker came over and she's looking at it with me. She's like, what happened? I was like, I don't know if this is probably why my tire is sounding funny. So I'm like, I need to go get me another tire, but it's on a Saturday. 
So who is still open? I know it was like three o'clock, but most places close like early and then they can't get you in until like the next day or like Sundays they're closed. So they wouldn't be able to get me until Monday. So I'm like, well, I'm going to see if I find somebody to bring me to work on, on Sunday because I'm not driving my truck, you know? So I called discount tires, mind you, discount tires. And I was like, I need a tire. It was like, I don't know the tire size, but he was asking what kind of vehicle I had and all this other stuff. So he said, oh, it'll be $154. I said, $154 for what? And he said, for your tire and for us to put it on and mount it. And I'm like, never mind. Like, this is discount tires. So I'm like, I know there's a tire place that's like, like close by me. I couldn't remember where it was. And so I was like, nope. So I had people that were supposed to be coming for the party. Now, any other time when I have different things or different get togethers and stuff, people are always late. They don't show up on time. So this time everybody decides they want to be early. So my ring doorbell goes off and it's my auntie. And she was like, I'm here. And I'm like, auntie, I'm not even there yet. The party is not till five. It's only three 30, you know? And so my other friend, she texts and she's like, Hey, I'm going to come early today. I'm like, I don't need y'all to come early today. I need y'all to be late. <laughs> And so, um, and so I, instead of taking the highway, I mean, it was a blessing that I was able to make it to work driving 70 miles an hour, um, going to work. Uh, but I was not about to drive that coming home, you know, going home or whatever. So I took the back way, which is like 40 miles an hour, but it took me longer to get home. So my other friend called her, she's like, I'm going to be headed there in like 10 minutes. I said, I'm not even there yet. I'm taking the back way home. Um, so anyway, I drives and I said, Oh, here's that tire place. So I pulls in there and I was like, I need a tire. I said, I don't know how late y'all are open or how quick you can get me in, but I got an event at like five o'clock and I need to at least be home by four 15, you know, cause I'm like, I still need to shower, change everything. I had all this stuff and I was like, I have it set up or whatever. I just need to pull out the ice box, set it up on the table, all that. So he said, oh, I can get you in. He's like, I call everybody auntie. So I can get you in auntie. I was like, okay. And so he pulls the tire off. Y'all, mind you, the tire was $56. It was $50 plus $6 for them to take it. Because he said, do you want the tire back or you want us to keep it? I looked at him like, what the hell am I going to do with that tire? <laughs> he said, okay, and for us to keep it is $6. I said, fine, that's cool, do, do whatever. So he pulls the tire off. Y'all, why was the whole inside of that tire like wired, warped, everything? And I was like, oh my God, I could have literally had a blowout on the highway, like literally. And so I'm like, okay, that wasn't in the plan either, but God like spared me to be able to make it to the tire place, to get another tire. And I made it home about 435, 440. I had time to like do a little quick hoe bath, you know, like quick hoe, like I ain't calling myself a hoe, but I'm just saying like the quick, you know, whatever, whatever, split splash. Cause I'm like, shit, my event's about to start in like 20 minutes. I got time to go in here and take a whole shower, get dressed. What, they gonna be sitting at the door, you know? Um, so they came and I was trying to like change my mood and everything. And that's the same Saturday that my friend came to help me with like the plants and all that other stuff and um, doing my plants. And while we was waiting on them to get here, we wound up doing that. Um, so then that situation happened. Then... Three days later, I was leaving work and I was coming home and um, what did I do? I was leaving work and I was coming home and I pulled in my garage and I heard something like a, like a can of like hairspray or something springing. And I'm like, what is that noise? And I had turned my truck off. I'm getting out the car, you know, I open my door and I'm like, what is it? I'm like, did I run over something? I'm like, but I don't have anything up there that would hit it. I hit, I have a golf ball that hangs. So I know where to stop my truck at. <laughs> and so I'm like, I know I didn't hit nothing. I don't know what that is that's making that noise or whatever. So I guess out and I go to the front of my truck. I don't see anything coming out. So it made me nervous. So I backed out in my driveway and I, you know, guess out. I look in the front of my truck. I don't see anything dripping. I don't see nothing coming out the front, but I can hear it and it's still going on. Mind you, I had a Zoom call in like 30 minutes. And I'm like, I still need to go over here and change real quick. So everything is like push for time, push for time. 
So I'm like, what is that noise? And so I started back up. I turned my truck off. It still made the noise. So I just left it in the driveway because I'm like, whatever it is, I don't want it in the garage. You know, I don't know if something's going to explode or whatever the case. So um, after that, I got on my Zoom call and I couldn't even concentrate because I was so worried about what was going on, you know, with my truck. And get off the Zoom call. I goes out there and... um know what the hell is on my lip i feel like there's something on my lip okay i'm easily distracted sorry y'all um but so i leave it out there so after the zoom call before my next zoom call i had like a 35 40 minute break or, you know time or whatever so i goes out there i starts my truck up turns it off i don't hear the noise no more so I pulls it in the garage, turns it off. I don't hear the noise no more. And I'm like, I don't know what that was. So come back, finish. The next day I goes to work and I'm tired as hell. I'm wore out because everything just kept happening. So I'm like, well, instead of taking my lunch, I'm going to go in my truck and just take like a 15 minute cat nap, you know? So I goes in my truck and it was kind of warm in Kansas City that day. Not hot, hot, but kind of warm. So I'm like, I'm going to turn the music on, lay my seat back and turn the air on. I turns the air on. I'm like, shit, why is it so hot? Like, it was no cold air blowing out whatsoever, like, period. And usually when my air comes on, it is cold. And so I'm like, oh, my God, what is going on? I said, maybe that was something that had to do with my air conditioner that was making that noise or whatever. So I turns the air off, turn, just raise the window down or whatever. And um, I goes back in there and I tell my coworker, you know, this, this, and that and stuff. So she, I was like, I don't know what's going on, but my um air is not coming on and so she said um let's go out and check your your fluids or something i'm like okay because she used to work at i want to say like a a car place or something like um auto zone or somewhere where they check cars and stuff so she used to work at a place like that um so she came out and she looked and my freon was down or the antifreeze was down really really low and she said you need some freon she's like go there you know they'll tell you this this and that so i winds up going to auto zone the guy came out and checked and he said yeah you need some antifreeze so i went and bought some antifreeze put that in there and i was like okay i feel like i'm good to go so then when i got in my truck the next day i turned the air on and it was cold i said okay well thank you lord i don't have to worry about my air conditioner because that would have been one more high bill and i hate being hot so i was like that's cool Goes to work next day, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I said, let me just turn my air on just to kind of check it. Turns my air on, it's hot. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And so when I went to my auntie's, we checked it and it was all the way back down low. So she called, my coworker called her friend that is a mechanic. And he said, it sounds like there's a hose that busted. And that's what that seeping air, you know, sound was. And he said, she'll have to buy this, some kind of fluid where you pour it in and then it'll spot the where the the seal where the hole is, and then they have to go in there with a light, and they can spot it, and then they can seal it, and all this other stuff. So I'm like, I have a personal mechanic that can come here, but then this guy can come to you as well. And I was like, Laura, what else? Like, I'm just really just just working on doing this, doing that, and it's just like, what else? So I say all that to say. Life is going to be doing what it's going to be doing as long as we're here. It is going to happen. I am working on stop being upset and being mad about things that I cannot control. I can't control the things that's happening this with my car or with this or my computer or whatever the case may be. But I know that God is in control and I know he's always watched after me. He's always looked after me. Um, whether I wanted things to go this way or that way, however they may be, our steps are already ordered. We don't know what's ahead of us. We don't know what the next thing is for us. But what I do know is that I'm going to stay on this path. I'm going to stay, stay keeping on, keeping on. Um, because you, I mean, you can't give up. Like you have to get in your mind to say giving up is not an option. You know, yeah, I'm frustrated. Yeah, I'm mad. Yeah, I did not plan for this. Yeah, I did not plan for that. You know, could that money have went to my truck and paid off? Absolutely. Uh, we're taking a cruise in August for my bedroom candy business. And I'm like, I want my cruise to be paid off. But with all this shit happening, it's like, come on now. We're getting closer and closer. But I know that um, 
I know that God is able. I know that he's going to do what he needs to do. Everything does not happen sometime in our timing. We want things to happen this way or that way, but God is his timing, you know? And I just want everybody to just be encouraged. Just keep your head up, whatever you're going through. It may not even be this. Y'all may be watching this like, girl, you ain't got nothing going on compared to what I got going on. But the fact of the matter is we still here. You know, you can't have a testimony without a test. And I've been tested. So this is my testimony. <laughs> this is seriously my testimony because um, things can get so hard and you can get so defeated and so frustrated. And you you may not think it's you doing something right, but you're doing things right. But all this other stuff is happening. Don't let that discourage you from just keep on going. And the other day when I went to work, I just felt like I woke up. I felt good because I went to bed that night early. Usually I jump on like some lives and different things like that. Um, even with the girl that I follow on TikTok <clears throat> and she does like the dominoes and stuff. We'll be on there sometime till like 10 o'clock. Another girl that she does uh, DTF transfer shirts and everything. And she can do like the personalized one because I'm about to send her some shirts that I want her to make for me with the DTF uh, prints or whatever. Um, she's on there to like one, one o'clock in the morning. And I'm usually on there with her because I'm a night owl. So I'm up. But I was like, you know what, tonight I'm going to pray. I'm going to re refocus my mind. I'm going to get off of, you know, social media. I'm going to go say my prayer. Um, Sometimes you don't just say it. You got to get on your knees and, and pray out to God. And I want to go to bed early so my mind can just rest. I cannot think about all the negative things that's happened, all the stuff that's happened. I want to just, just reset. And so when I got up, I felt like I went to bed, you know, early and I, I felt good and I felt refreshed. But when I woke up the next day, I just felt defeated. I just felt like, well, shit, I'm doing everything. What is the problem? You know, and I said, you're not the problem. So when I w went to work and I'm the type, I love music. So when I'm driving to work, I don't like phone calls or nothing like that. I just like to listen to my music and then, you know, just kind of you know, woosah, and then get to work and all that other stuff. So I was driving to work. I had my music on. But even when I got out of my truck, I still didn't feel like me. I didn't feel like that happy keeper, you know. And I just was like, you know what? We, we're not doing this today. We are not doing this today. Because the attitude or the vibe that you have, it affects your tips and your money at work. So if people feel you all mad and upset and frustrated, this, this, and that, you're not going to get no good tips. But if you steal yourself and you still vibrant and they like that, somebody else may need your energy to pour off of that day. Then they're going to tip you good. And I'm like, let's make this money up for the money I done spent for the computer, the tire, <laughs> and everything else. So I'm like, we're going to turn this off and we're going to make this happen. And so I just changed everything and I lift myself up. I'm like, lift my spirits up. And I was like, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. And um, the tips was amazing that day. It was really, really good. And so I felt like if I would have been in a different mind frame, they wouldn't have been where they were. But they were where they were because of me changing my mind frame, my mindset, you know. Um, so I just say that if you're going through something, if you're dealing with anything, which we all are in life because this is crazy, but... Um, you just have to know that, you know, you're good. Like, God got you. You know, pray. Keep on going. Keep on pushing. Making things happen. Whatever you do to get you in a happy place, then that's what you need to do. And so today is my day off. And I was like, I'm going to go in my office. I'm doing Mother's Day things. Um, I'm doing some crafting. Um, I have this board that I'm going to make that I'm going to put on my porch. I'm going to do a whole separate video about that. Um, but just go to a happy place, talk to God and do what you need to do because you can feel like, man, I, I enough already. Like I can't do no more. Like, yes, you can, you know, you never know how strong you are until you're tested, you know? And so you have to be like, God, I know you got me. And that's the place that I've been. And, um, it, it wasn't easy. It really wasn't easy. And I was like, I'm not about to record. I wanted to make a video the other day. And uh, what was I going to make? I was going to make some... Uh, what was I going to make? Shit. Oh, I was going to make some um, fried Oreos. I was going to make some fried Oreos. And so I was like, I want something sweet. I don't eat a lot of sweets. I don't cut back from a lot of sweets and stuff. But uh, I was going to make some fried Oreos and everything. And um, I was going to do it and record it. But I was like, I didn't have the energy. Not the energy, but I didn't feel... 
like my bubbly self or whatever um, to do it. But YouTube is my happy place. Like this is where I wanted my channel where I can come just run my mouth and just sip. So that would have been a good time for me to just say, okay, y'all, I don't feel it today, but I'm going to make these um, fried Oreos and we're going to make it happen, you know? So I got to get out of that defeated place when I want to record or when I want to do something and just come and record anyway. And then just be comfortable. Like, I feel like I'm always myself on here. I'm nobody else. I can't be nobody else. So why not let people see the other side? And I'm actually about to do a, cha a challenge. This is off topic, but I'm about to do a challenge. Um, Brittany, what's her name? Brittany, I follow her on YouTube, I mean, on Facebook. I need to follow her YouTube channel. I think I do. But she's a, like, YouTube content creator she's like in the youtube industry um different things like that so she had a challenge for shorts last year who can like do the most shorts and so one of the ladies that i follow p may family um she wound up winning a short plaque and it was really cute and it just had youtube shorts on it uh for doing like you know i don't know how many you had to do but it was a challenge so now she's doing a challenge on um YouTube is doing a thing where you have to go live vertically, I guess, and it's helping the viewers and, um, I mean, helping the channels and getting people's um, channels out there and all this other stuff. So she's doing a month-long challenge from May 13th to June 13th, and we have to record, we have to go live one to three days out the week. You can either go live one day, two days, or three days. So I'm like, I, I accept the challenge because I've been wanting to go live with just doing my crafting things, you know, because people love seeing crafts and all that. And I love doing them. But I was nervous because I was telling Yaya, I was like, I don't know how to set my camera up right. Or what if I miss people's comments or, you know, so she said, I'll come in, I'll help you. And then I could say, hey, I'll be back. Let me get this, you know, X, Y, and Z going so I can make sure I don't miss people. I'm not ignoring people. So Yaya said that she'll help me do that. But um, yeah, on the 13th of May, I'm going to start doing lives and I may go once a week. I may go twice a week, but it's going to be, a my first one is going to be get to know me. So y'all can join me, ask me anything. Everything is open. I don't have anything to hide. Ask me anything I will share, but it's basically like, get to know me, get to know Kiba. Like, you know, this is who I am. So I wanted to put that out since I just said I myself on YouTube, but um, yeah, yeah. So I'm about to get up off of here because I didn't held y'all long enough, but um, just stay encouraged, be uplifting. Um, when life happens and, and life throws you lemons, uh, turn it into lemons with some vodka or lemons with <laughs> whatever the case may be. But just keep on pushing. Just keep going. You know, get you a, um, a, um, a circle of positive people. I don't want to say friends because like I told y'all before, I don't like using that word. A circle of positive people, associates, whatever they may be, um, that'll keep y'all motivated, uplifted. And even when she was saying about us doing this challenge, she was saying, we got to hold each other accountable. If you're going to say you're going to do the challenge, then you got to do the challenge and hold. we're going to hold each other accountable. So I do like that. I have four accountability partners and we check in every day, uh, Monday through, well, Monday through Thursday. They check in on Friday. I don't check in on Friday because that's my Kiba day. Um, but we just hold each other accountable for what we're going to say. We're going to, what we, what we're going to say we're going to do, then we're going to do it. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to come on and do a video about being encouraged, being positive, be uplifting and go and bless and, and encourage somebody else. You know, if you're having a good day and nothing is going wrong in your life, I applaud you. Congratulations. Um, but if you are one that you are dealing with different things and stuff or whatever the case may be, then, um, yeah, just, just get you a place of peace, okay? Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I come on to run my mouth about whatever I want to talk about. Drop in the comments and let me know what you are sipping on and go and follow and like my YouTube family, y'all, because it's all about the support, support, support. Uh, I'm going to drop three channels in the description box so you guys can go and follow them and tell them that sipping with your magic sent you, okay? And then don't forget to check our community tab because this Friday, today is... Thursday, so tomorrow, 
me and Yaya are coming on about actually talking about mental health because this is mental health month. So we're talking about mental health um, tomorrow on our both of our channels, on both our YouTube channels. Um, so watch our community tab so you'll see when we come on every two weeks and we talk about whatever we want to talk about. And we have people join our panel. We ask that you respect everybody's comments, opinions, decisions, because everybody is different. So uh, we don't we don't do no messiness. We are positive. Both of our channels are positive channels. So we ask that you respect that whenever you come on our panel, um, whether you're in the comments or whether you want to come up on the um, on the stage with us. And mind you, if if Yaya don't know who you are or if she don't have a picture, she would not. Um, add you on the top just because there'll be trolls in there. So if you have a picture on your YouTube channel or if you don't have a YouTube channel and there's a picture or something or yeah, yeah, ask me if I know that person, I can say yeah and then have them come up because uh, we don't do messiness. We don't have time for it. All right, y'all. Until next time, Sheer Magic is out. Deuces with my broke nail. <laughs> Deuces, y'all. Bye.